YouTube, what is up? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we're checking out South Park proper condom use. Listen, if you want to take your support to the next level and get access to full episode reactions, including this one, the link to my Patreon is in the description below. But before we go any further, I need you to do me a solid. If you could drop a like and a comment on this video for the algorithm, I would greatly appreciate it. But uh, y'all ready for this one? Let's run it, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. So we meet again, Jennifer Lopez. No, no, please. This time I swear I won't make any more albums or movies. That's what you said last time, but obviously we must not resort to more drastic measures. Oh, God, it burns. It burns. Scream for me, bitch. Ah! Oh, damn, son. Whoa, awesome. You guys, you guys, come here. You gotta check this out. Watch this. It's so funny. Come here, Garden. Come on. <laughs> Red Dragon! Hey, Red Dragon! Yo! Red Dragon! Red Dragon! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Carmen, what the hell are you doing? So I know they make dogs. They make dog milk. No, they don't. What do you do? Yeah, just hold on a minute. The fifth grader showed us how to do it. Red Dragon! Come on, dog. Red Dragon! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my man's Carmen gave the dog a happy ending, son. What? <laughs> Why, bro? I agree with what Bob and Linda said. Mom, Dad, you gotta see this. Not now, Stanley. This is no, Mommy and Daddy's book club night, remember? But it's super cool. Later, sweetie. Anyway, I found myself enticed by Steinbeck's imagery. Well, the first chapter alone was filled with poetry. Okay, oh, wasn't cool. it? I know the first sentence. Red Canary Rocket, Road, Red Rocket, Monterey, Spark. and California Red is Red a Rocket. poem. Oh, <laughs> shit, look at the other parents. It's amazing how Red with Rocket, three Spark. images, he puts you right there and... Red Rocket! Red Rocket! Ah! Stanley, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> I'm being on the dog. Red Rocket, Red Rocket! Stanley, you go to your room right now! My room? What? Go, oh, Stanley! Oh, shit. Yo, he has, he has no idea what he did wrong. My room? Why? He, he literally thinks he's doing the, the, the dog a favor. I mean, he is, but not that kind of favor. You know what I mean? Uh, um, he, he, he gets very good grades. <laughs> she, had, she had to defend him, bro. Like, yo, I swear to God, this kid is smart. I don't know what that was, but his report card is on point. Stan, what you were doing to the dog was sexual. Huh? You were stimulating the dog, Stanley. What came out of him was his... Randy? Well, you know, when you do that to a male... It, Tell him! Stuff come out. Well, Jesus, haven't why? Why are they like beating around the bush, bro? Like they can't just tell the kid what it is, like for real? They taught you these things in school. What things? Sexual education. Haven't you learned that yet? No. Oh, well, <laughs> you see, Stanley. Well, your school should be teaching this stuff. Yeah, let's get that damn school on the phone. Look, our kids are learning sexual things on the streets and on television. There's no way we can stop it. The schools have to teach them sexual education at a younger age. School. I don't think so, bro. I think that's your job as a parent. You know what I mean? Like, you can't control everything, but you can control what you can control. So whatever media your, your, your child is consuming, whether it's social media, uh, whatever's on the TV, you know, you can control those things. You know what I mean? Now, the conversations that go on in school with other kids, nah, you can't control that, unfortunately. You know what I mean? But you can control what goes on at home. So you, have, you do have power there. You feel me? And and I don't know. It's, I think it's better for you to teach your kids than somebody else's teach your kids. You feel me? Or teach your kids first. So then when it's time for them to learn at school or whatever, they're prepped. Or if you teach them well enough, you don't got to sign off on the form for, uh, for sex ed. You know what I mean? Why, just this afternoon, our son was caught beating off our dog. <laughs> Everybody's kid is doing it. Parents. We have to face facts. Yeah, Children I in America drifted. are having sex at younger Again. and younger ages. STDs are affecting Again. younger and younger kids all the time. The only way we can combat that is by educating children before they have sex. I think my boy does need to know about sexual education from the school. Yeah, oh yeah, we have to. I know that some of you think this is very funny. Words like penis and vagina. <laughs> no, no, stop that. <laughs> We're going to get through this by being mature and grown up. 
That was me, bro. That was me in the fifth grade. My whole table, bro, was four of us, four boys. And the second they dropped the proper terms, you know what I'm saying? We busted out laughing. Now, in order to have intercourse, okay, the man takes his penis and he, uh, let's see, the the man takes his penis and I don't he, think he knows, bro. Hmm. Dude, haven't you ever had intercourse, Mr. Mackey? Well, sure I have. It's just, I was about 19 at the time. It's been about 21 years. Oh, shit. Okay. We're excited. Yeah, we think it's going to be fun. Yeah. Fun. It's going to be fun. Well, let's start with our first lesson then, shall we? Sexually transmitted diseases. Oh, my God, bro. We're going We're going straight to that. I thought I thought they had already agreed on on... Or maybe they didn't agree to anything. Maybe that was just Chef uh, sharing his opinion. That's right, because unless you get boys to wear condoms, you can and will get a sexually transmitted disease from them. You girls wake up in the morning and say, it's not going to happen to me. You say, oh, Miss Chokes on Dick, that happens to girls in Detroit and Brooklyn, but not here in Colorado. <laughs> Wrong! <laughs> Gonorrhea, herpes, chlamydia, HPV, HIV, syphilis, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, the list goes on and on. These are serious diseases. They have serious consequences. You think that sex is about Bro, she's fun scaring and games the kids. and love? Shit, Wrong. Liz. Sex is about disease. Here's a little picture of herpes. <laughs> And here's a little simple for you. Oh my god. That's right, girls. Here's what happens when you don't get boys to use condom. Wow, those kids are traumatized, bro. You can't tell me they're not. How is sexual education class going? It's dumb. Mr. Mackey doesn't teach us nothing. Yeah, I don't think old Mackey knows a hymen from a hysterectomy. And you <laughs> I'd be surprised if she's ever gotten laid in her life. Yeah. Chef? What? Yeah, they definitely they definitely made a horrible choice with the teachers that they got teaching this. You feel me? Maybe we should ask the girls what they learned in sex ed. Yeah. Hey, Wendy, did you guys get... <laughs> what the hell is wrong with them? <laughs> you guys, we just want to know... The... Oh, oh my God. God. Are you wearing a condom? A what? <laughs> so, look. <laughs> for Miss Chokes on Dick, right? Is she trying to teach sex ed? Or is she trying to scare the kids so bad into not having sex that they want no contact with the boys? You know what I'm saying? If it's sex ed, wah, 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 terrible. Epic fail. But if it's to scare the kids away from having intercourse, 100% nailed it, knocked it out the park, A+. plus. But that's not, that's not what the mission was. You feel me? The mission was teach the kids about sex ed. Let's get it. If you don't wear a condom, you're going to get AIDS. AIDS? Oh, jeez. No, and not I just, get the oh AIDS, God. fellas. Is that what you learned in sex ed? Mr. Maggie didn't say nothing about that. Dude, Mr. Maggie didn't know anything about anything. Right. You guys have to wear condoms. Now, please, just just go away. We don't want your AIDS. But, Wendy, we don't understand how you... <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Oh, what are we going to do, huh? Dude, we got to go get condoms quick. Yeah. yeah. Fat ass. <laughs> Can I help you, boys? Yeah, we need condoms. <laughs> condoms. Yeah. Yo, why is Timmy there, bro? <laughs> Quick. How old are you, boys? Why does that matter? Oh, I'll be nine next week. We have to be willing to supply condoms to anyone who requests them. But they're children. Would you rather them do it unprotected? Yeah, you want us unprotected, you asshole? I just think that all this sex ed and condom talk in elementary school is wrong. Kids are going to do what they do, and it's up to us to make sure they're protected. Well, I'm glad this lady's on our side. I don't think we have any that'll even fit them. Sure we do. We just got in the new gladiators for kids. Lil Minis. They're specially designed for kids under 10. <laughs> Look at the logo, bro. It's the, um, the, um, the Flintstone Vitamin Jones. Thanks so much for letting me come over, Miss Choke's own dick. Oh, it's no problem, Mr. Mackey. It's probably best we come up with a lesson plan together anyway. We have to teach them that diseases are possible even with just oral sex. R All right, so she's just trying to scare the girls. That's what it is. Right, oral sex, which of course would be... Using your <laughs> no mouth on the shit. penis or vagina. Penis or vagina, right, oral sex. Okay. It's just too bad these girls are having sex so young. Yeah, did you... Did I what? Well, how long did you wait before you had? Uh, do this guy. This got nothing to do with the um, with the lesson plan. I got to figure out how you're gonna teach these kids not, not learn about each other. You know what I mean? Ubers. Well, if you must know, I'm still somewhat of a virgin, but I'm not ashamed of it. 
Damn, son. I wasn't really sought after much in high school or college. I was made fun of most of my life for having such large glasses. The only boyfriend I ever had was this attractive, popular boy. <laughs> I thought... <laughs> I know I'm not the only one, bro. I thought she was going to say large breasts. She said larger glasses, bro. I know I'm not tripping, bro. Sound off in the comments. Let's get it. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. People can be very cruel. Anyway, I know it's hard to understand. Well, actually, I understand perfectly. I... I wasn't exactly the captain of the football team either. <laughs> and then as I got older, my, my. So these two are like, didn't get to experience, not necessarily like the whole aspect of like dating, but just everything else that's around it. You know what I mean? Because they sound like they were either some dorks or, 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 or losers or, or some shit. You know what I mean? So I didn't really get the, the experience that everybody else got. Hanging out with kids, dating. Um, whatever the case may be, you know what I mean? I wasn't exactly the captain of the football team either. <laughs> no, no. Never met a man who was as sexually unappealing as me. Neither have I. <laughs> well, I'm quite happy with myself. I mean, with all the diseases and problems out there, who needs it, right? Well, not me. <laughs> okay. Well, back to the lesson plan then. Right. Okay, oral sex. Doesn't it give any other directions? Why'd they look at each other like that? Why they look at each other like that? Just put it on, Butters. How come I gotta go first? Butters, will you stop filibustering? All right, then. Oh, it's sticky. It says you gotta check it for holes or tears. I don't even understand how this thing... Oh, wait. Oh, I see. Don't look at Butters slong, game -o. I wasn't looking at his slong. <laughs> yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. But it won't stay on. I, I need a rubber band or something. Uh, I've got rubber bands. Do you feel protected? Yeah, I don't think nothing's getting to my wiener through this thing. It's even got a lot of reservoir <laughs> in the end so you can pee in. <laughs> All right, here, everybody. Tweet. Give everyone a rubber band. Hey, somebody's got to help Timmy put his condom on. Right. Oh, hell no. Nah. We need to be teaching even younger than fourth grade. But how old do you think a student should be when they learn about proper condom use? Kindergarten. Kindergarten? We've now got to get to the students head. before they start having sex. I guess we have no choice. Kindergarten is okay, crazy. Okay, children, who can tell me what a condom is? You got this guy? <sighs> this is the dude that brought Mr. Slave to class. You're going to trust this kid with the kindergartners? I said this kid. This guy? Yes, Jenny. It flies around and it's endangered. That's a condor, Jenny. Condor. Condoms <laughs> are what we use to stop the spread of STD. I'm going to show you the proper way to put on a condom. First of all, you nah. remove the condom from its package. Then you find which way the condom rolls out. Put it in your mouth. What? And apply. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, I'd be yanking my kid out that class. And having a conversation with that teacher by myself, nobody else, bro. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Poor kid. And it's as simple as that. Any questions? Hi. You seem to think it's going to be fun and neat to have a baby. Well, let's watch a little video, shall we? Snuggie's Moss presents the miracle of childbirth. The time is drawing close for delivery. Here we can see the water breaking. Ew! Later, the contractions are happening closer together. Mom sure is in a lot of pain. Now we can see the crown of the baby's head stretching the vaginal walls in ways never before thought possible by mom. Yo, these kids are Finally, so traumatized. Finally, the miracle happens, and the baby is born. But mom's not done yet. She's still got some afterbirth to push out of her. What the f <laughs> Yo, why is she so graphical, bro? She showed the pictures. The herpes, the, 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 what else? Gonorrhea, chlamydia, whatever that was. And now the child labor? Yo, that's crazy. Not the child labor, but the labor of the child. Birth of the child. Whatever the proper term is, y'all. Let's get it. Right. Girls, girls, where are you going? Well, she's a terrible teacher. is driving me crazy. Yeah, I've changed mine three times already because it itches so much. <laughs> yeah, but it makes going to the bathroom easier. <laughs> All right, boys, I now have all the My man tossed that condom like a water balloon, bro. Okay, this part here is the vaginal opening. This is where the man puts his 
Eric, what the hell are you doing? I'm putting on a new condom. I filled the other one up. Why are you wearing a condom? So I don't get AIDS? Eric, you can't get AIDS from just sitting around. You have to get it from sex. From sex? Yes. You mean intercourse with a girl? Yes. Now, will you all pay attention, please? That does it. If us boys are going to live, we have to get rid of the girls. Yeah, come on, guys. This is bull. Bro, that's crazy. Bugging. He's and bugging here hard. we see the tender, magical uterus. Here we tender, see the enticing, magical. voluptuous, floping tubes. Missionary position. Missionary position, good. A little boring, but tried and true. What else? Doggy. That's right, doggy style we went over. Mm -hmm. Pile driver. <laughs> what the uh -huh. fuck? Yo, Pile this is... driver position, good, Quake. This is insane, bro, like... Everybody's getting like different different levels of sex ed, you know what I mean? And for some reason, for some reason, probably because it's South Park Kindergarten got the most advanced one, bro. Stay away from us, bastards! We don't want to get pregnant! Yeah, just take your diseases and go away forever! Ha! They're your diseases! Yeah, you get out of town! Here, talk to them, butters. Uh, me? But what the heck am I supposed to say? Just tell them that if they leave town peacefully, we won't have to resort to violence. Just walk away. You can put a stop to all this. <laughs> Why is this Just walk that? away, and we will spare your lives. Just walk away. Ooh, he's pretty good. We'll never walk away. Never! <laughs> Kenny! Yeah, I think I can get through that stuff pretty <laughs> quick. He's checking her out now. Uh, maybe we should come up with another lesson plan. Something about how nerve endings play an important part in intercourse. Uh, oh, right, right. Uh, like in the nipples. Or the shaft of the penis. It says here that the... Uh, Is this like a some sort of like weird... Uh, like dirty talk between them? Head of the penis is actually the most sensitive part. <laughs> oh, yes. The nerve endings are the most concentrated at the tip of the penis, like they are in the clitoris of the woman. And these are the two areas most important to sexual stimulation. Hey, go ahead, Mr. Mackie. Bro, is it me or is this like mad awkward? Why is this scene still going? Oh, that's why it's big as difference. Wait, wait, wait. Do you have a condom? Well, no. Oh, well, fuck it. <laughs> she's teaching the opposite of what she's doing right now, bro. Holy shit, bro. We got nail guns? Looks like the boys won. What the hell was that? Did you feel something? Oh, no. Jesus Christ. Ooh, Butters, you're in big trouble now. <laughs> well, I hate to say it, but you all got what you deserve. Huh? Look, schools are teaching condom use to younger and younger students each day. But sex isn't something that should be taught in textbooks and diagrams. Sex is emotional and spiritual. It needs to be taught by family. I know it can be hard, parents, but if you leave it up to the schools to teach sex to kids, you don't know who they're learning it from. It could be someone who doesn't know, someone who has a bad opinion of it, or even a complete pervert. <laughs> what? Why did you pan to me just now? Oh shit, that was good. That was good. That was really good. And it's decided. No more condom classes in grade school. Hooray! But Chef, when is the right age for us to start having sex? It's very simple, children. The right time to start having sex is... 17. 17? 17. So you mean 17 as long as you're in love? Nope, just 17. But what if you're not <laughs> ready at 17? 17. You're ready. Well, I guess we got a while to wait before we have to worry about sex and diseases, huh, Wendy? Yeah, thank God. Well, I guess now that that's out of the way, we can get on with our lives. Come here, boy. That's it, Red Rocket. Red Rocket, come Bro, on. Yeah. What? Come on, We're going Rocket, back dog. to the Red regular. Rocket. All right. <laughs> now, this was a good episode, man. I definitely enjoyed that. Definitely rocked with it. Y'all going crazy with the suggestions. 
Drop more in the comments below. Listen, I appreciate you pulling up and watching this video with me. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't yet enjoyed the family. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.